How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So, last video we talked about a potential draft prospect. Today, we take a look at one of our own prospects. One that massively broke out this season and possibly established himself as the second best defensive prospect in Detroit. We are, of course, talking about the 6'4", 190 pound Swedish defenseman, William Wallander. A second round draft pick from the 2020 NHL entry draft selected as a bit of a project player. Wallander was a prospect that had tremendous talent, but it was still very raw. Meaning any team that selected him was hoping they could develop his skill into a top quality NHLer. Of course, Red Wings fans, and well, anyone who pays attention to the NHL knows that Iserman can develop players and develop them well. But before we get into what Wallander accomplished this season, I want to give a shout out to Vile Blood SB. We have had tremendous support from you guys and want to start thanking you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join the discussion with lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So going back to Wallander, the season after being drafted, he split time between the Junior 20 and the Hockey Osvenskan, which is Sweden's second level of men's hockey, similar to how the AHL compares to the NHL. In the Junior 20 league, he more than held his own, but in the Osvenskan, he looked out of place, recording a small amount of points and not retaining a great plus minus either. However, in the offseason, he left Moto to go play for Rogla, a team many Red Wings fans know well. They housed Marit Seider last season when he broke out into the force he is now. Well, Wallander did exactly that. He started on the Junior 20 team, eventually was moved to the SHL club, serving as a 7th defenseman before being cut from the U20 World Junior team for Sweden. It was definitely a rough start, but by the end of the season, Wallander was one of the most important defensemen on Rogla's roster and tying for the U-20 scoring lead in the SHL with Simon Evidson, recording 4 goals, 15 assists for 19 points in 47 games played, tacking on a plus-minus of plus 5. Unfortunately, Wallander went on to only record 1 goal in 13 playoff games, but this season saw him learn how to use his high-end skill to make smart plays and get the puck down the ice, as opposed to a turnover or a scoring chance against. Wallander also did receive an award as the SHL's top junior player, an award Sider received last season. He is still unsigned by the Wings, but being his team was just eliminated from the SHL playoffs only a handful of days ago, I wouldn't be surprised if they signed him in a couple weeks and have him spend a season in Grand Rapids, further developing his skills and possibly competing for a roster spot on the Wings come end of next year or pushing the Griffins into the playoffs and hopefully onto a deep playoff run. What do you guys think of Wallander? Where does he play next season? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful Red Wing Nation community. And until next time, Lights out in the red light district.